What's up everybody, welcome to another episode of the Knowledge Bomb. Boom, what's up, episode 416. Can you believe we're on episode 416? Boom, drop yeah. the knowledge, baby! 416, Dustin's over there, I wanna shout him out real quick. All right, so, in Get Stack 90, we talk about rep outs at the end of a lot of our pressing stuff. This is something we did as kids all the time where we'd max out 300, then go right combine style to 225, right? So whether it's floor press, which will be down here, whether it's regular press, any type of press that I have programmed for a rep out, this is what you want to do. So after you take your max effort, you know, you let's say you max effort on bench, one of these protocols, you go 300 pounds. I need to make sure it's something that you can get between 15 to 20 reps so you get just a super crazy pump, you know, basically get your triceps completely blown out. And so on, for instance, Treadway did a 385 floor press, then went to 225 for reps and did it for like 38 fucking reps, which is kind of crazy. Um, on a board press, so if we went a one board, two board, or three board, we would do, you know, maybe up to, I don't know, 400 pounds and then come back to 225. So make sure, if you're a guy that only benches 250, go back down to 135. If you're a person that benches 300, maybe go down to 185. And so get it to where you can go fully blown out, everything you got, that will help get you more gas in your triceps, a bigger chest pump, and then kind of send you on to the accessory work. So when I write the max rep out, pick wisely, get a good number, and really work on you know, form, locking out, so you can basically increase all of your pressing. So, I really didn't have anything to show. It was more of a talking knowledge bomb. I thought I was gonna show something, but that's all right. Knowledge bomb 416, boom.